Whoa. Wow, what a game. Huh. Big time. Sacrifice. That's our lesson today. And when I think about sacrifice, I think of willing the good of another and losing everything in the process. Losing it all. You know, we think about examples of sacrifice in the world. You know, you have people that have paid the price, paid a dear price in the sports world and all kinds of different avenues of life. But the only example that really is fitting in terms of what true sacrifice is, is the sacrifice that God made when he left heaven and came to earth. I mean, think about that for a minute, he's God. A lot of the religions of the world teach that God stays up top, that he doesn't uh, come down to our level. Not only did God come to our level, he got beneath us. He experienced the, the, the hell of sin. The perfect God of the universe left heaven and came to earth as a humble servant who sacrificed it all. Jesus, God the Son. And he, and he, he was born in, a, <laughs> in an animal stall with a smelly animal stall with nothing in poverty. He was born in Bethlehem, which was kind of considered the armpit of the world at the time. Little Bethlehem. He was born of a young teenage girl who was impregnated by God himself, God the Father. It broke all the rules, it broke all the codes. Jesus Christ grew up as a man, fully God and fully man, and he lived a committed life of sacrifice. He demonstrated all kinds of, of, of opportunities for sacrifice and lessons for us as we read through the Gospels. But then he laid it fully on the line, knowing that he was going to, going to go to his death, and he could have called it off in any moment with a snap of his fingers. He could have laid it out. You know, kind of like today in this game, when we were down 27 to six, we had a number of fans that were booing us. They were not with us anymore. And, and that's how it was with Jesus. We're not with him, we sinned. We, we, we walked away from him. The Bible says no, not one was righteous. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And in the midst of that, knowing that we were rotten, dead to the core, Ron Brown, chief of sinners, he went to a cross anyhow. He went to a bloody death. He willingly went there and he took the abuse physically, and he took the abuse of being separated from God the Father, humbled himself as a servant. Sacrifice, that's what it is. Willing the good of others and losing it all while you're doing it. That's what sacrifice is. The sacrifice of Jesus Christ. There's only one common sense answer for it, and that is to receive that gift and thankfulness and say, thank you, Lord because he died in our place, in my place. But then he rose from the dead. <laughs> like I come back here, and it's just a parable of coming back when it all looked like it was dead, when everybody was booing you, when people were hissing and sailing at him on the cross and just, uh, just abusing him, knowing that he would rise again. And he offers new life to us, even though we were booing Jesus. We were on the opposing sideline of God, booing him with pride, and yet he sacrificed anyhow. All I can do is get on my knees and say, thank you, Jesus. I trust you as my savior. I receive you as God and savior, and I, and I will follow you as Lord. I repent from my sin, and I choose to follow you. Will you do that? Th that sacrifice, once and for all, was the complete sacrifice and all that you'll ever need to be right with God. And no matter what you've done, no matter what you've done, no matter where you've been, no matter, I, it doesn't matter. God will forgive you. If you will repent, admit to him that you're lost and you need a savior. And then trust in Jesus, Jesus alone. He was God and choose to follow him. He will radicalize your life. He will give you a brand new life. The Bible says we get a brand new life. We are born again. The spirit of God enters in, God the Holy Spirit. And now we have an ongoing relationship with God the Father through our relationship with God the Son, empowered by God the Holy Spirit. That's the best deal in the world. 
It's sacrifice. That's what it's all about. Willing the good of someone else and losing it all. That's how we're to live. The overflow of Christ living through me is how I'm to live. God bless you. Consider seriously this challenge for you. Will you trust Jesus as Savior and Lord? For those of you who have trusted Christ as Savior, and, and if you're like me, you don't always have that spirit of sacrifice. You get proud. I, I, I'm guilty. We can repent right now. We can ask God for forgiveness and he will wipe the slate clean and give us a brand new start. God bless you and have a great week.